Hey Diverse Beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new around here, hey, I'm Sandy. I make beauty content on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you guys know whenever I upload a video. And of course, go hit me up on my Instagram where I'm a little bit more personal. So it's been forever since I last did a sort of lipstick swatch demo review type of video super excited because this brand is one of my i guess more favorite korean brands and it is tada dear dahlia now i actually have reviewed dear dahlia before on my channel i did kind of like a makeup look using dear dahlia products so check it out if you guys haven't watched that video but this brand is actually a vegan korean brand um it is i think one of the first vegan makeup brands that came out from korean cosmetic not sure but this brand is a little bit on the pricey side but they have a very beautiful aesthetic to them um, they usually go with like a marble or gold aesthetic and of course it's vegan and they have a lot of beautiful colors now one thing that I find unique about Dear Dahlia is that even though it is a Korean brand and it of course has some Korean style makeup it also has more Western style uh, makeup as well such as their recent matte lipsticks which i am in love with now their new matte lipstick collection is supposed to be kind of like neutral nude colors um a little bit more toned down um definitely has a more like brown dark undertones to them which is i think perfect for like fall time as well as winter but of course you can use it pretty much all year round your choice now there are eight shades in the new collection so i bought them all yes i bought them with my own money <clears throat> i'm a little um broke after that and i was a little bit upset because after buying all these lipsticks i didn't get the red pouch and i'm very very upset about that um so if you guys are following dear dolly you probably would know about the whole red pouch because i am so angry i did not get that pouch now first let's start off with some of our nude colors and then we'll go into the more colorful shades first let's start off with delicate now delicate is definitely more of a kind of peachy brownish nude color um i think it's a very beautiful kind of like mlbb shade of course it depends on your own uh, lipstick and complexion but i think on my complexion it would be a very beautiful like matte mlbb my lips but better shade now one thing i did notice about these matte lipsticks is that after a while when they start to dry down they do oxidize a little bit so they get darker from the original shade that you applied which could be a bad or good thing depending on the shade that you applied so usually for this color even though it is um, more on the like peachy um pink brown shade i don't feel like it looks that bad after i oxidize now of course i do wish it stayed the color that i initially applied but that's just kind of inevitable when it comes to matte lipsticks eventually they sort of change and oxidize a bit the second color is tender now tender is definitely more of the pink nude color of the collection it's very beautiful pink which is actually what i have on right now but I did put a lip gloss over it, so mind that. It will change the shade just a little bit if you put lip gloss over it. Now, I do like this pink color because I feel like it's a good matte nude pink for my complexion. One thing about pink nude color is that they always kind of look really bland and very pale on my complexion. I always look like I'm sick. Or extremely pale with pink matte nude lipsticks which is kind of one of the reasons why I usually stay away from them but this color is actually really really nice for my complexion next is naked now naked really reminds me for some reason of like the Kardashians like it really gives me that like grayish brown nude color that is well known among the Kardashians and this one though it was actually decent it wasn't a bad color on my skin uh, 
but after it starts to kind of oxidize a bit then it started to get a little bit too grayish for my personal preference but it's still a really beautiful color and I think that if you put like a maybe a darker lip liner underneath let's say like a brown lip liner and then you put this one over it it definitely gives it a more of a balance and I love how it looks with a lip liner next we have raw raw <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm watching TikTok way too much but this one is basically a more purple-esque nude color now why, mind you all of these have very similar undertones but I feel like this one just kind of goes more onto the purple-ish side of the color spectrum if that makes any sense <laughs> feel like I could definitely see myself using this in the fall, especially with like a nice maybe purple or even brownish lip liner underneath. It would look beautiful. Um, now, of course, this one also has a little bit of a more gray undertone. And the last color in the more nude collection it is Lush. Now, Lush is actually a very beautiful color. It definitely gives me of a peachy coral nude shade um really really beautiful color especially for like spring and summer and if you put like a little bit of a lip gloss over it it would be beautiful and i kind of really like this color on my skin complexion it's definitely a color that suits me a lot more if you are i believe more of like a tan to deeper complexion this type of color would be beautiful on you just because it's such a like warm um i guess peach brownish shade it's just gorgeous now let's go on to the ones that are a little bit more colorful quote-unquote colorful just because they are still very nude color it's just they're not as nude compared to the first five colors that i showed you first let's start off with a boss okay period Ooh, she's a boss so this color is actually very beautiful it's a nice i guess blue tone red now this red definitely is a little bit tricky i think on um, depending on your i can't even talk depending on your skin complexion and it could make you look older also depending on how you apply it and with what type of makeup um i personally prefer more like strawberry reds or pinkish reds just because they make my skin look a little bit brighter and healthier and younger but when it comes to these like more blue tone reds they just kind of make me look a little bit old but i still like this color actually i like using it um depending on the type of like makeup look that i have and i have used it before in i believe one of my instagram pictures or a youtube video i'm not sure but i'll pull like post a picture for you guys but it's a really beautiful color it's definitely a tricky color i'm not gonna lie but it's still beautiful next we have confident and confident is hands down like a mauve purple brown it is gorgeous definitely very fall style for sure but it's really beautiful color um it's definitely one of those shades that does oxidize and look much more deeper on your lips after it dries so mind that especially um depending on your skin complexion and finally we have passionate and passionate is the berry um purple color of the collection kind of reminds me of like a berry grape color so i will definitely be using that color a lot especially with confident i feel like if you do like an ombre look using passionate and confident it would be such a beautiful lip shade so that's one thing cool about this collection is that they did try to kind of have colors that you can do like ombre or gradient effects which is definitely something i will be doing um this fall i think that right now i'm kind of in my lip gloss phase but i think in the fall time i like to play around with like gradient looks um not really like the 2005 gradient korean style more of like the 2020 korean gradient style if you know what i mean overall i was actually really impressed with the color selection of this new matte collection um i think that they're all very beautiful and very suitable especially for more warm undertone now there are a couple of uh, nude ones that i think would suit the more cool 
tone gals out there or guys um especially raw and naked i think those two would be very cool tone um nude colors now, one thing for sure that you have to keep in mind when you are applying these is that they are a matte finish which mean they can be a bit drying for your lips I know some of you guys don't really like wearing matte lipstick because they feel drying to the lips um, but these are not extremely dry now of course they're not like super moisturizing or com extremely comfortable but they're not uncomfortable if that makes sense now of course after like maybe the four or five hour mark um, they do start feeling really really dry on my lips so that's usually when I kind of like wipe them off and reapply and also when you are reapplying the lipstick I definitely recommend that you kind of just remove it completely and start fresh just because I noticed when I re um, touch and just apply another layer on top of what of what is on my lips already it just makes it look really crusty and it just makes it look worse so highly recommend that remove all of your lipstick first and then reapply a fresh layer just because it will look a lot better overall I'm actually quite impressed with the new D Darlia collection um, for a while I definitely stayed away from matte lipsticks but these ones have changed my mind I really like how they look on my lips and of course they are a vegan brand which is really surprising because I don't really see that many like vegan trendy fun brands um, now I don't really look specifically for vegan brands it's just not really Really what I do but I know those are there are people out there who do prefer just um, using vegan makeup or skincare so this is something that you could consider if you're looking for um, Korean makeup if you guys have any other questions about this collection of course hit me up in the comments I will help as much as I can don't be shy okay I got you and as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you guys are notified whenever I upload a video and of course follow me on my Instagram and my other social media platform and where I kind of a little bit more personal and I also do more makeup stuff there too as always take care of your health and I love you diverse beauty bye